Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm the sewing specialist for Founds and Porter. In this Quilt and Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the blocks that are used in the quilt called Dapper Dots. As you can see, someone loves dots, lots and lots of dots. All the fabrics in here are a dot pattern, so we're going to be using 5 inch strips is what the pattern calls for, and then you're going to be cutting them into squares. The prints are very dot size, and they're in the blues, turquoises, and a really fun coral peach color there. Now, they're all going to be cut from a 5 inch strip, and you're also going to need some smaller squares. So it tells you to cut squares from the strip, and then to cut some that are rectangles that are 2 and a half inch wide, and cut those then into to two and a half inch squares, which you see here. That part, these are going to be used for the center of this kind of a knot design here. So, once we get all of our squares and the prints cut in the large squares and the small ones, then you also need um, a consistent, and this one is a light gray and white dot. From a distance, it may just look like a light gray, but it is also a dot, and you'll follow your instructions for how many of those um, background squares to create. And we're going to be then creating this block. So let's look at the pieces. We're going to need two of the light gray and two of the navy blue in the large size. We just build block by block through this. And then you're going to need some triangles here, but they're made from squares, which makes it quite easy. So I've got one here, I've got one already prepared. I'm going to show you how to attach this square to create the triangle you see here. What we're going to be doing is using a marking tool and we can use a small ruler. And we are going to be taking each of these squares and we're going to making, be making a diagonal line corner to corner across it. So quickly marking them really easily, just diagonal line corner to corner, don't need to worry about seam allowances or anything, just creating a stitching line so that we can then lay this small square into a corner of the block and we're going to stitch on that line and just to make sure you have it oriented right when you open it, you'll see then that that creates that center knot. Okay, we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew directly on that marked line. The fun part about this project is that everything in this step is just sewing on your drawn lines. So it's kind of easy for a beginner to um, create this quilt. We'll trim our tails away. And you see that I've stitched corner to corner. That's oriented properly. We're going to take that to the ironing surface. You should always take the time to press as you go. So we're going to just press this flat, set those threads in, and then we're going to open it out all the way to the stitching line. It's kind of critical. You want this piece you open up to cover the piece underneath so you know you've pressed it right in half. And then because we don't need all of those layers in our quilt, we can come back in here Use a scissors. You can use a rotary cutter also, but scissors works fine. And just trim away the extra triangle and throw that scrap and you place it there. Now the other one I've already stitched so I can lay that one in, oriented properly. Again, I can trim away those underneath layers. The seam has already been cut or um, stitched so it, the, the accuracy of the quarter inch seam is not a concern at this point. Just as long as you take away, leave approximately a quarter inch seam allowance there so the seam doesn't pull out. Now you've created basically a four patch. This is then created by putting right sides together, creating a seam here, then creating this one, seaming here, and then joining the rows together. And you get a four patch bow like this. And in the back, you'll want to make sure you press all your seam allowances nice and neat. Your quilter, or if you're quilting it yourself, will be happy if you've done that step. Now, the orientation of the blocks. As you see, the bow ties kind of flip back and forth through dapper dots. So you have to think about 
um, that they go in different angles back and forth. And you would join the top row, then the next, and then join the rows together and sprinkle that orange delightfully throughout Dapper Dots. Thanks for joining me. For more of our video tutorials, visit our website.